Today we're going to install a Borla S-Type axle back exhaust system, a cold air intake by S&B with an oiled filter, and also an S&B air scoop. And I'm going to be installing all of it into this Rubicon 2018 JL. So what Jeep Rubicon does is they give you these air vents. The problem is, is that these aren't really air vents. They're one solid piece. They're more decorative, but think of them as caps. And effectively what Jeep wants you to do is put your own air scoops in. And that's what we're gonna do with the S&B air scoops. The hood of your Rubicon is this heat shield. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut into that where those air scoops are gonna be. Now, what I want you to look at here is this is where your air intake is on your, on your Jeep. Now, what you notice, it's kind of small, it's somewhat constricted. And essentially this is where your air filter is. And this is where your air intake comes into. What the hood is going to do, it's going to come down with a connection uh, with the S&B filter, the cold air intake, and it's going to put it right on top and it's going to form a seal. And this is where your cool air is going to come in from the hood and also from the side. Okay, let's remove the stock air intake. First thing is to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. Um, there's one over here as well. Um, then come over and remove this eight millimeter uh, bolt on this hose clamp. The first thing we're gonna have to do though is we're gonna have to remove the IAT sensor, it just unclips, and also the PVC uh, hose, and that unclips as well. Okay, let's get started. Okay, super easy job. Got the cold air intake installed. I didn't put the glass plate on it yet because I'm doing the S&B air scoops, which I'm gonna do next, which is gonna come out of there. But you can even see, even this opening right here, which is a standard opening, if you weren't doing air scoops, this is still bigger than what the stock one was. Look at the size of that air filter, that S&B air filter. It's pretty, it's pretty big and it's gonna suck in a lot of cool air. Here's the uh, pipe assembly right here, clamps into your throttle body, um, and reattach the IAT clip and the PVC hose. Super simple, this whole thing took, you know, maybe an hour, less than an hour. Um, pretty, pretty easy to do, and the sound is nice. When you hit the gas, it's a, you can kind of hear it, which is, which is great. Okay, we got the air scoops on, functioning air scoops, I should say. This is the one that connects over to the air box. I'll show you in a minute. Um, gives it a nice, nice look, nice aggressive look, and it's actually functional. So very happy about that. Okay, so here's how it works. The, uh, the air scoop on the passenger side comes through this funneling system here. And you can see there's like a round flange, oval flange there. And what that does is it sits right on top of the air box and puts in cold, fresh air right into your cold air intake, makes the engine run better. Other side also functional uh, air scoop as well. Now what s &B does is they give you the option to either close this piece off or keep it on. I wanted to keep this side piece on to get extra air, but also because it snows where I live. And if I ever put caps in front of the uh, front of the air scoops to keep the snow out, um, I still want my engine to be able to breathe. Or if you're on a dusty road and you don't want excess dirt coming in, then it's good to have the uh, option to have the air, keep the option to have the air scoop on the side. Okay, so this is the cap that I was talking about that if you wanted to close off your air system in case it was raining or raining really hard or snowing, snow could clog this up a bit, or you're on a really dusty road and you, won't, you don't want dirty air coming into your air filter. Um, S&B gives you this cap that you can put on um, to, to prevent that from happening, but S&B does say that this system right here does separate the rain, uh, rain water and air. But I like to, just in case I do put this thing on, um, I do want to be able to have the side air scoop um, open on the, uh, on the air box. To complete the build, we put in a Borla S-type exhaust system. I went with the black dual tip. It's a really clean, nice look. It's very high and tight in the back. It's not big and bulky like the stock muffler was. Also really complements the cold air intake because it does help with the airflow coming out of the back. If you're helping the airflow um, in the front to come in, you want to help push it out the back as well. That's going to increase performance overall. So really nice sound. What's nice about Borla 
is that the sound is there when you want it to be. When you start the car up, when you wake it up, you're gonna hear a nice little grunt. And then when you hit the gas, you're gonna hear the grunt. But just driving around normally, you don't hear a drone. And that's what's nice about Borla. It's a very nice sounding system, but the sound is there when it needs to be and when you want it to be. To review the overall build, we put in functioning cold air scoops from s &B. We also put in a cold air intake um, from s &B also, and also Borla exhaust. So let's get to the review. There are three reasons why people commonly do this type of a build. One, to increase fuel efficiency. Two, to increase performance. And three, to get better sound. Let's go through all three of them. Fuel efficiency. Will you get better gas mileage? In my experience, you do. You get about one mile per gallon better. Now that may not sound like a lot, but if you think about how much you drive and what your gas mileage currently is, that's maybe about a 7% increase in your overall mileage. Now that's gonna give you, if you figure you spend about 50 bucks a week filling up your uh, Jeep, um, that's gonna give you about $175 per year savings, depending on how much you drive. It might be a little bit more savings, but effectively you end up paying for the air filter in about 12 to 18 months. So this is a cost savings and it also gives you better performance. So I'd say it's a win overall as far as fuel efficiency goes. Performance. Yes, performance. You're gonna get better performance out of a nice cold air intake system. This is the one from s &B, and you can see the size of that air filter coming in, the, the broader, smoother pipe that goes right into the throttle body. I went with the fresh air, cold uh, functioning, cold air, scoops that come into the hood. Now, the way that your Jeep is geared is that you get really good low end torque. The problem is, is at the higher end, when the RPMs go up to a higher end, your torque starts to die down. That's just the way Jeeps are geared. This is a performance part. And what this is going to do is it's going to increase the power band, meaning that you're going to get more power, but you're gonna get it around the 4,000 to 4,500 RPM range, not so much at the low end, which is where you want it. You want it at the higher end. It's a performance part. So that's one of the big advantages. So you're gonna broaden your power band. You're gonna increase fuel efficiency. I think this has the biggest change. If you're gonna do one thing to your Jeep, I would put a nice cold air intake system into it. And to complement the air intake, you need a good exhaust system. What good is breathing in if you can't breathe out? And that's the whole point. So when you get the Borla system, it does free up some of that airflow and it does really complement nicely the cold air intake. So if you're taking more cold air in and it's helping performance, you need to be able to pump that right out the back. Plus you get the additional sound and you get some extra performance because the airflow is running through your engine a lot more efficiently. So this is definitely a plus. But like I said, the, the biggest plus that you're gonna get is to put in a nice cold air intake system. The real big plus is, is the sound. Borla gives you just a phenomenal sound. So putting it all together, you get better gas mileage, you get better performance, and you get better sound. And one last thing, the Jeep becomes a lot more fun to drive. You like to listen to it, you like to hear it, you like to step on the accelerator. It just becomes an overall more fun vehicle. And isn't that what it's all about? Dogs not included.